So now let's talk about one of the most trendy things in today's motion design – glitches. The project with glitches is attached to the lesson. Open it. Open the main composition. Here, almost all glitches was done with the help of adjustment layers. So the different effects combinations was applied to adjustments, and by displaying these layers in different time, we get this various glitches effect. Now let's consider the one of the most popular and effective ways to create glitch with the help of displacement map effect. It's obvious this effect works with the displacement map, but what is that and how does it work? In its settings, we set the value of horizontal and vertical displacement and choose the black and white layer in this drop-down as a displacement map. In our case, we have this composition as a map. So the brighter area of the displacement map, the more it will displace our layer in this area, and the darker, the less. Now let's create the glitch using this effect in new composition. I will distort this logo. You can use any image you want. So the first thing we have to do is create a displacement map. Create new solid, it must be black colored, and apply noise effect to it. Increase its value and check use color noise to make the noise black and white. Then add mosaic effect and set it up this way. And check the sharp color so that some kind of pixelization was created. Now let's change the number of horizontal blocks to 1. That, so that we made these straight waves. And edit them like this to add more contrast. Now add the posterized time and set its value to 10. And now the animation is sharp and it really looks like glitch. Duplicate solid and set up the mosaic effect in the following way to create these smaller pixels. Change its banding mode to screen and reduce the opacity value. Precompose these two layers and this will be our displacement map. Switch off uh, the visibility of our precomp, create an adjustment layer and add a displacement map effect. In this drop-down, select our created texture and set the horizontal and vertical displacement values. And you can achieve really good results by animating vertical and horizontal displacement values with toggle hold keyframes. Let me demonstrate how it works. Pretty cool. So the next moment is chromatic aberrations. They can be often met in glitch animations. It's like effect of image splitting into color components. Aberration which we have in main composition creates the RGB split. The layers which respond for creating this effect are marked with red color. So as you understood, for creating this effect we need several duplicates of the layer. We did three copies for each RGB split in main composition. I will create this effect from scratch for you. Create three copies of current layer and I will name them R, G and B. Apply to the first one shift channel effect. We can stop the color channels of image in various ways using this effect switch on and off separate channels or replace them, but we have to leave only one switched on in our case. For our layer it will be red, for G it's green, and for B it's blue. Change their blending mode to screen to make them draw the original image when they stay at the same position. And the only thing left to do is create a wiggling effect. For that, in position property, type the following expression. Wiggle, open in bracket, 10, comma, 110, closing bracket. This function creates random change of property value it's applied to. And it receives two parameters. The first one is frequency. 
and the second its amplitude. So that property value will be changed 10 times per second with maximum difference of 110. Paste this expression to G and B layers per position property. So they are wiggling. Now let's create an adjustment layer and add posterize time to it. Set the value to 10. With lower frame rate, it looks really good. So let's precompose it. From this moment, just by duplicating, trimming this precompose and placing it in random moments of time, we will get these chromatic aberrations in random moments of time. Really cool. In main composition we played around with blending modes, so that's why you can see not only red, green and blue channels. And the aberrations were combined with other effects applied to adjustment layers, so that, that's how we get this interesting look. The next effect which we will consider is Wave Warp. This effect creates wavy distortions. It can be used not only for glitches, it's really popular in 2D animation. Usually, wave warp is used in simulating waves, water, hair, flags, and so on. In its settings, we can set up the wave height, its width, direction, and speed. But the most interesting parameter is wave type. Wave has a sign form by default, but if we change it to the square, for example, we will get this result which looks really technogenic. Or, for example, change it to noise. Or to smooth noise, like we did in the main composition. Also, with the help of this effect, we made these kind of distortions. This sudden glitch is wave height property animated with toggle hold keyframe. And these lines were created with Vanadium Blinds effect. This effect splits the layer with lines, size and angle of which you can control. And of course the posterized time effect was added as well, to make the animation be sharper.